All right, more with less brought to you by Cooney Lexus of Greenwood Village. So I I'm driving around town late last week, and I'm listening to some guy doing sports talk, and I heard it again. The host was saying the Broncos should rest Peyton Manning more this season, not pull him at the end of blowout wins or losses, which would make sense. No, he's saying that the Broncos actually hold Peyton Manning out of actual games, even if he's healthy. He's 39. His body can't take a full season anymore. Keep him fresh for the playoffs. Sorry, that's freaking moronic. This is not baseball. There are not 162 games. This ain't hockey or basketball either. We're sitting a guy for one or two of 82 games in all probability won't make a difference in the standings. This is the NFL. They only play 16 games. So one game is really, really important. Many, many teams miss out on the playoffs by one game every year. So you're willing to take that chance? Sitting Peyton for a game or even two if he's healthy? Moronic. That's somebody who doesn't understand how athletes think, how coaches think, how sports really work. Peyton Manning makes a lot of money. Not as much as last year since he took a pay cut, but he makes a lot of money. And he's a professional athlete who wants to play. Even when he's not 100%, that's the nature of football anyway. That's what he does. He plays, and he plays very well. The coaches want him to play. The GM wants him to play. The owner wants him to play. The fans who pay all that money to see him want him to play. The TV networks who pay all that money want him to play. And you want to make the playoffs, right? Look, there are other ways to rest Peyton Manning. Unlike what John Fox did, you need to pull Peyton if you're ahead or behind by a lot in the fourth quarter. Give him some practice days off, maybe. If you clinch a playoff spot and you're locked into that seed, fine. Sit him down then. If it doesn't matter whether you win or lose that late season game, yes, hold him out. That's fine. But thinking you can sit him against a bad team like the Raiders or the week before or after a bye so he'll have two weeks off, that is stupid. Look, there are no guarantees here in the NFL. This is the big leagues. We see upsets all the time. Even the Raiders upset teams. And remember... Peyton's not 39, or Peyton's 39. He's not 69. He's in primo shape. And if you're going to worry about him getting hurt, why ever play him? Why ever take the chance of putting him on the field? Why not sit him every game? Then he'll be healthy for the playoffs. Stupid, stupid idea. Shut up about it already. If you lose that game he sat, you might not make the playoffs. Do you get that? Rest him when you can. I gave you some reasonable times to rest him, but not when the games still mean something. Isn't that why you got Peyton Manning? To win those games? And that's more with less. Hey, going on right now at Cooney Lexus, the command performance sales event going on. Cooney Lexus of Greenwood Village. They've got more new models than ever. I know, I went in over the weekend to visit. And they also have the first ever NX and the RC, very cool cars. So go over there like I did. Visit Colorado's number one Lexus volume dealer. Real easy to get to. They're at I-25 in Bellevue. And if you want to know more about Cooney Lexus, just go to CooneyLexusOfGreenwoodVillage.com.